This is Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at our 2022 22FKC Puma XLD Lite travel trailer by Palomino. It's a double axle single slide unit. Um, it's 26 feet from tip to tip. I mean, from the coupler to the rear bumper. Um, I think it's 5,268 pounds. I want to verify that right here. I just looked at it and already forgot. 5,268 uh, dry weight. So a small unit here overall compared to the majority of things that we sell uh, from Puma especially. We're going to look inside first and then we're going to come back outside and take a look there. So it's a front kitchen as you can tell from the FK, <clears throat> the FK model. Um, I'm going to just walk back here for just a second, show you the front kitchen and then I'm going to turn and we're going to go actually back to our bathroom which is there and then our bedroom. So at the back, this is our bedroom and bathroom area, hallway with a door to close our bedroom off. Um, this, the single slide is up in the front as you already saw, so no slide back here but still very spacious. So I want to point some things out about that. There is space at the foot of the bed and at both sides of the bed to easily get in the bed, make the bed. Uh, sometimes that can be a, you know, a little bit of a concern and a, a not massive unit. Um, as far as the head is, the head of the bed is concerned, we do have hanging storage on both sides. A nice big window there at the head of the bed. A storage above as well. That table there you're, it will be if you wanted to use it um, at the theater seats in the living room for eating or whatever, playing cards, whatever you want to do, you have that. comes with it. I have it out so y'all can see it. Um, nightstands on both sides with outlets as well. Uh, three windows back here, as you can see. So even though there's no slide, it makes it, it, makes it feel open. Uh, it's not like a little bedroom closet, so to speak. So several windows. Um, the windows do have actual nightshades on it, not just like a cheap metal blind or something like that. Uh, there is storage below the bed, as you can see there. <clears throat> Again, I want to show you the sides of the bed, the space there. Uh, ducted AC, and it is ducted into here. You can see the AC, the AC drops, um, LED lights, of course. Uh, TV hookup on this wall. If you wanted to put a TV, you can mount it on the wall. I do point out there is an actual door that closes this off. It's not just a, a curtain or a sliding door even. It's an actual door, so it does give it a sense of you know separated legitimate rooms. In the hallway, that's our uh, thermostat for our air conditioner and furnace. Notice the window here in the hall. Uh, a lot of manufacturers will just cut out a window because it's just extra cost, but they put the window here again. It makes it just feel like a higher end product and it opens it up. You have more light coming in. So this is our bathroom. Uh, really nice bathroom for the size of this unit. Uh, great linen storage in here. I mean, as you can tell, those are very deep cabinets. Two of those as well. So great storage there. Um, nice glass shower door here. Uh, corner showers, you know, fairly spacious. Again, got a skylight. We have a, a roof vent with a uh, fan in it. Um, I've got a toilet over here to the left. In our actual sink, we have storage below the sink. We've even actually got a legitimate medicine cabinet with storage built in it. So a lot of nice features here in our bathroom. And then here's our kitchen living room area. So the kitchen's at the front. To the left is our big slide. A couple things about this slide of note um, when you're comparing this to other similarly priced products. This is a very nice slide uh, for any unit, but especially for a unit in this price point and size. This is a flush floor slide. There is no step up. Oftentimes you'll have a step up into a slide in this price point. No step up. It is three feet deep as you can tell. It's not a, not a you know foot and a half or shallow slide. Um, it's, it's a full size slide and it's, it's tall as well. It's also a rack and pinion slide, which is, in my opinion, the best quality of slide as far as ease of use, ease of use and maintenance. And if problems do arise, they're easy to get in and out from a service side. So I like that. We have theater seats in this one. So, you know, kind of the recliners essentially that are joined together. Cup holders in the middle, storage as well. You can see the USB port back there behind that. Nice big window behind it, a little decorative lights above. So a, a nice seating area. And that TV's right there, so you've got a good angle. That TV does pull out if you want to change the angle a little more. But pretty accent wall, little shelf there if you have a Roku or whatever streaming device, you want to set it there. A uh, little fireplace below. I have it on just because it looks pretty and because it knocks the chill off. Big fridge, 10.7, um, 10.6 cubic foot. I can't remember now what they are exactly. I think they're 10.6, 10.7 uh, cubic foot. Refrigerator, freezer. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know, I mean, this has pretty much become the standard um, in towables. We've got these 12 volt refrigerators instead of the gas electrics. Um, incredible, incredible units there. Uh, at the front kitchen, nice countertop space because of that front kitchen. So it's deep countertop, dude, width, got a glass top stove cover to help 
with even more countertop space. There is an oven in here actually, not just like a little storage compartment. Lots of storage below. Our pantry's to the left, which is nice. That's an outside storage door. We'll look at that in a second. I uh, love the windshield at the front. Again, helps bring that, that light in, makes it feel more open. Storage above with decorative glass inserts. Uh, microwave as well. And our control panel is here. Uh, when you walk in with your monitor panel, light, slide, and awning controls all right there. All right, that is the interior of the unit. Let's go back outside. Let's take a look at some things here. On the exterior, more ride step above steps. Triple steps there, not just doubles. Uh, dual gas and electric water heater, not just gas. Electric awning, and it is a large awning on this unit. Uh, there's that, I was about that slide. That hole right there actually lets you manually crank that slide. So you can see up in there, that little thing coming through the, um, through the side of the unit, that little T, that is your uh, uh, manual drive. Excuse me, I've lost my train of thought there. Manual drive, outside speakers, um, little mini outside kitchen on this particular unit. So you've got a refrigerator, you've got a griddle cooktop, and then, you know, just a little bit of storage there. So it rained this morning, so I've got water running off everything. Uh, dual axle in this size unit, we like that. Outside uh, outlet, outside TV hookup, outside TV mount there as well. Outside spray port right here. Good outside storage. Under, it's underneath that bed, so we got a lot of storage here, which is really convenient. Your water pumps right there, easy to get to for winterizing. Uh, they got an access panel up there just to cover it. On the rear, we got our uh, water hookups for fresh and city water. A little outside shower there if you want to rinse things off. A spare tire already mounted on the back of the unit. I like one thing they do is tinted windows. Um, not just black, but definitely tint versus some products that have no tint. I appreciate that. Uh, detachable power cord, which we like. There's that rack and pinion slide I was talking about. You can see it's, just, it's easy to get to, easy to work on. It's just, just the simplest and best one, in my opinion, as far as mechanism. There's your termination points right there. Uh, one thing I like about Puma, if you notice how well they seal, one of the only products we had that seals everything was silicone. Uh, it doesn't just rely on putty, it doesn't just rely on foam. Um, they seal everything. So absolutely a rarity. If you start comparing to most products, you will not see that. You'll see just raw putty or foam. Like that's, that's incredible. So I like that side note. Uh, this is that storage we saw, I pointed out. Um, from the, in the kitchen area, there's a little cabinet door you can get in there if you need to. And then here's your kitchen tank um, drain there. So you've got two, two termination points, pretty common now with the amount of tanks we have on these units. Uh, two LP bottles on the front. Power tongue jack as well. There's that big windshield on the front. So 2022-22 FKC Puma XLE Ultralight. Uh, 26 feet from tip to tip. 5,300 pounds. Dry weight. Uh, big slide in there, big fridge, and again, a lot of stuff in a small package. That's here at Arrowhead Campers. If you click the link in the description, that will take you to the listing on our website. You can see more pictures there, more information, or you can call, text, or email anybody in our family. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you for watching.